Hello everyone. Welcome back to a new post today and today let's speak about something related to economy and that's about logistics. So a very good manufacturing sector in the country should be supported by further distribution and uh, market as well. And to carry the manufacturing goods to the producers as well as the markets you need a very good logistics sector. Now the Minister of of Road Transport and Highways was informing the parliament today that India is coming up with 35 multimodal logistic parks in the country and under the program named as Bharat Mala Pariyojana. So the government has been focusing a lot on improving the infrastructure in the country and also uh, the transportation logistics being a part of it. Now in- investment opportunities are very high in India with regard to highways transport logistics and logistics is one of the area to make goods competitive and also cost effective because whatever go- the price with regard to manufacturing the good the taxes and also the logistic cost is added into the goods goods so this uh, determines the price effectiveness of a good of a country or a company etc What is logistics? Now logistics is the process of planning and executing the efficient transportation storage of the goods from the point of origin that is the manufacturers to the point of consumption that is the consumers or the markets. The goal of logistics is to meet the consumer requirements timely and in a cost effective manner. Now to increase the logistics effect, uh, efficiency in the country and to bring down the logistics cost in India which is at present very high and most importantly to have a dedicated framework for logistics in the country the government has launched uh, the Bharat Pariyojana which is going to develop 35 multimodal logistic parks in the country So this new, this program is an umbrella program named as Bharat Mala Pariyojana and it was launched by the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways with the primary focus to optimize efficiently the movement of goods and people across the country. It has six key features economic corridors number 1 Number 2 inter corridor and feeder routes to ensure first mile and last mile connectivity number 3 national corridor efficiency improvement number for expanding and decongestion of the existing national corridors number 4 border and international connectivity of the roads to ensure boosting of trade with neighboring countries number 5 coastal and port connectivity with the roads number 6 green field expressways So these multimodal logistic parks will facilitate a shift from point to point movement of cargo to a hub and spoke model. So rather than transfers travels it uh, traveling or transporting the goods directly from the producer to the market, they will gather the goods from all the producers, take it with them and then deliver it to the various areas where they are needed. So this is a hub the hub will be the multimodal logistic parks and the spokes will be the production areas and the markets. they will gather the cargo from the producers and they will shift it to the traders and the consumers these parks are going to come up in mumbai pune nagpur nasik in maharashtra hyderabad in telangana bengaluru in karnataka anantapur in andhra pradesh chennai coimbatore in tamil nadu indore in madhya pradesh patna in bihar guwahati in assam jammu in jammu and kashmir so if you observe all of these are at the capitals or major industrial areas in these states they are strategic locations in the country and the aim and their major markets also so their aim is to bring down the logistic cost to have a dedicated framework for transporting these goods and also storage which will help to boost the national economy and mainly to make india a major supplier of of goods to the to the globe and be a part of the global supply chain the foundation of the first multimodal logistic park is already been laid and laid and it is in uh, jogi gopa in assam which was done in 2020 So with the total investment of 46000 crore rupees these multimodal logistic parks are coming up in 35 areas and once operational they will be able to handle 700 million metric tons of cargo of cargo so these multimodal logistic parks will serve as regional cargo aggregation that is gathering and distribution hubs for various industrial and agriculture nodes consumer hubs and also export import gateways such as sea ports and multimodal connectivity let's take an example for example there is a multimodal logistic park in mumbai and it will gather all the goods let's say from the jnpt port from thane from airports there like for example mumbai international airport and also the suburbs area in mumbai Mumbai Logistics Park will gather all the goods from there and it will transport it via 
either trucks or railway or flight or even ship maybe to another logistic park let's say delhi which is close by so today uh, India has got its longest expressway from Mumbai to Delhi. So let's take the example of Delhi. So Delhi to Delhi, from Delhi, then it will be distributed to Delhi, Gurgaon, Kolkata, uh, Noida, uh, upper areas in Punjab, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, etc. So this is what is called as a hub and spoke model, just like a wheel. So the center will be the integrating multimodal logistic park and the spokes will be the various areas from where goods will be gathered and they will be distributed. The parks will enable a shift from a point to point to hub and spoke model which I earlier told you. Now currently the logistics cost is too high in India. It's like 14% per GDP, 14 to 16% and this makes the Indian goods far less competitive on the global stage and also uh, the logistic cost is very high so the goods become uncompetitive even in the Indian market as well. To bring down the logistic costs, uh, the multimodal logistic parks will play a very very big role because they will integrate all the freight related services into one place. How will the price be brought down by these multimodal logistic parks? As I told you, they will integrate the freight related services from various modes of transportation and for example from economic corridors through roadways, logistic parks, ports, ropeways and they will distribute it to other areas. It will be a dedicated framework with dedicated uh, with infrastructure like storage, cold storage etc and vehicles and also personnel in the logistics. So prior to this, India never had a dedicated logistic uh, plan, integrated plan for a logistics sector. So this is the first time that the government is actually planning for an integrated plan and with coming up with 35 multimodal model logistic parks in the first phase. Now I told you the main aim is to bring down the price of the logistics from 14 to 16 percent of the GDP to 9 to 6 percent and also to create more jobs because we need dedicated personnel in this area as well. This will also create a lot of manufacturing and assembling clusters around these parks itself and therefore this will further cut down massively the freight or the transportation costs of these goods and save a lot of time as well. Why do we need an efficient logistics sector actually? First of all, number one, we need to connect the producers and the consumers. Number two, to connect the production centers and other areas of demand. Number three, to connect the states where uh, interstate trade is carried on on a large scale. Number four, to increase manufacturing. The, uh, the government is increasing manufacturing to various PLI schemes and therefore to transport these goods and deliver these goods, we need an efficient and uh, an optimum uh, use, utilization of cargo services. Uh, five is to have a dedicated framework through the dedicated corridors, vehicles, personnel to further bring down costs, storage, uh, etc. Number six is to transport the goods to other countries on time. Number seven is to be a part of the global supply chain. Number eight is to connect the producers with the raw, raw materials producing areas. Number nine is to con uh, connect further the producers and the markets. And number 10 is to have a dedicated logistic sector for further special and growth in this area. So this is about the multimodal logistics uh, parks which are coming up and why do we need a good and efficient logistics sector and the main aim of the government to develop this multimodal logistics sector these parks if you really thought that this was helpful and it laid the foundation for you to further follow up on these topics and for build your knowledge on this please do like share and subscribe and i will see you in my next post and until then it's happy learning